Hey, John Cristani here, online marketer, entrepreneur, and I'm gonna be showing you in this lesson how to start a website business. I've run numerous websites, I actually own hundreds, and I've been doing this for years and made millions of dollars, and I'm gonna show you the simple three-step process for starting a website-based business. I'm gonna be showing you what to do, where to do it, and how you can make money. So let's get into this, and there's gonna be a bonus tip at the end where I'll show you how you can make multiple streams of income from your website, so let's get it. Hey marketers, so if you are like me, you love the idea of having a website-based business for a number of reasons. One, it works while you sleep. Number two, it doesn't complain. And number three, it can make you money a number of different ways and it's all automated. So let's get into how to start a website business in this. And if you're not familiar with me, I've been running an internet business. I've been a full-time entrepreneur since 2012 is when I quit my job. September 2012 is when I quit my job. Now, the first step to starting a website-based business is you have to register a domain, okay? Real obvious thing, but you can go to different sites such as GoDaddy, top recommended hosting company is down below. But basically you'll look up your website domain and you'll see if it's available. Most websites retail for about $10. So you usually don't have to spend more than $10, $12, usually not higher than $15 to purchase a website. Now after you purchase website, usually bundled in, is you'll need hosting, okay? So you also need what's called web hosting. So if you think about it, the website itself is like the real estate, okay? Your domain name, which you will pay, generally speaking, $15 for, 10 to $15. That's the real estate. But in order for the real estate to be worth anything, you need to have running water, you need to have electricity, you need to have plumbing, you need to have Wi-Fi if you're living in the 21st century. And that's what hosting is. Hosting is when you're paying an internet company to actually hold your website for you and load it on other people's computers every time somebody visits it. Now, technically, if you own a computer and you leave it on 24 seven, you could actually host your own website and not have to pay any money. But to do that, I've tried it, it's a real technical challenge and you need to know server side scripting and programming and all this sort of stuff, databases, and it just doesn't make sense. So unless you're super advanced, you'll have to buy hosting. Now hosting generally costs somewhere around $20 a month. Now if you sign up with my top recommended hosting company, which there should be a link in the description, then you'll actually get a free website and you'll get hosting that costs less than $5. So I suggest if you'd like to get a website, sign up with the website hosting company that I recommend down in the description. Before you do that, we're gonna go on what you do next to start a website-based business. Now the second step of starting a website-based business is you need to put content on your website. Now to put content on your website, I have another video where I show you how to set up a website in five minutes. And you can check that video out. It goes over a little more in detail exactly how I show on my computer how to put content on your website and how to set up your website if you use my top recommended hosting provider. But some good tips on doing content on your website is generally speaking, people put blog posts on. They write words. But Matthew Woodward, who's a pretty popular blogger talking about how to create website-based businesses, gives a few different suggestions here. So first off, the difference between good content and bad content is good content is in-depth, provide value. And we'll talk about this a little bit later when we get into my pro tips, but offer more value on the subject than you see other people doing. One thing to not do is do not stuff it with keywords because you heard that putting a ton of keywords in your article or your blog post or your whatever it is, is gonna help you out. Stuffing keywords does not work. Some other things that don't work is doing a very short article, making it super spammy and full of links and having no multimedia. What I suggest you do is just as Matthew says, use all three content forms, meaning text, image, and video. Also keep your article up to date. If you're doing a def definitive article, something such as how to save money or something like that, you know, a very broad article, you can keep it up to date. But generally speaking, I don't think you always need to keep your article up to date if the content doesn't always change, okay? Keeping 
your articles or your content up to date really only applies to certain content where it goes out of date. But what is definitely good is referencing other sources. So the more third parties you kind of reference in your article, you say, oh, CNN said this, and NBC said this, and Fox News said this, Donald Trump said this, Bernie Sanders said this, it's actually good. It helps your article in terms of ranking. It shows that you did research. Now the third step is the most exciting and that's monetizing content. Ooh, this is exciting. So the third step is the most exciting and that's when you monetize content. And what's exciting about monetizing content is you make money. So I'm gonna show you two ways that you can make money from your website. And I'm also gonna show you a third way in a few minutes here when we get to the pro tips. So the first way to monetize is using banner ads. Now we see a big banner ad right here. This is ad space, right? You see, this is the New York Times. This is just a screenshot of their website, but you'll see right above it is this huge ad for whatever, Erica Black's jet cart, whatever that is. Now, that's a great way to make money. You can make money by putting ads at the top and, and you can see there's an ad over here. There's generally ads all over. So this is a great way. And the way you do this is with something called Google AdSense. It's free to sign up for and they will give you directions on how to integrate this into your site. No matter what type of website you have, Google will be happy to place ads on your site. And the way it works with Google is you will get 60% and Google will get 40% percent of whatever money is earned. So if Google sells $10,000 worth of ads on your site, you get 6,000, they get four. Pretty good business for Google. They make a lot of money. There are other companies that you can work with to monetize your website, to put ads on your website that'll pay you better shares. But generally speaking, Google has 4 million companies who place ads on their platform. You're generally gonna make a lot more money working with Google than any other provider because no other provider has as many many advertisers as Google. The second way I recommend you monetize your website is through what's called affiliate marketing. Now that's what I do for, for a living. I make hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. Yeah, seriously, through affiliate marketing. And what affiliate marketing is, it's when you're advertising somebody else's company and you just link to it. When you just advertise somebody else's company and whenever they get a customer or a lead or something, they pay you, okay? So what's great about affiliate marketing is if you know your audience, and you should if you're watching this channel and there's no reason to not. And if you want to learn a little bit more about affiliate marketing and how it works, check out one of my other videos on affiliate marketing. But affiliate marketing, if you know what products people are already buying, cut out the middleman. Instead of paying 40% to Google, you can actually get rid of that and you can keep 100% of the money that you receive from your affiliate marketing rather than pay Google costs to connect you with these companies. So you work directly with the company rather than working through an ad network such as Google. And that pays a lot more. And almost every single blog and YouTuber you will see uses affiliate links. If you've ever come across a website that recommends an Amazon product, I don't know, my wife, we were having a conversation about affiliate marketing. And she says, I never click on affiliate links, John. I, I, I don't know, it seems like, a, seems like a scam to me. And I said, okay, can I look at your computer? She said, okay. She had like 10 browser tabs open. And I look at her computer and I said, honey, what's this site? It's called uh, Lucy list.com and she said oh that's uh i was looking for uh new diapers for fiona i wanted the the current diapers are kind of chafing her butt and i'm worried they're giving her a rash so i wanted to find eco-friendly diapers that didn't have chemicals or whatever in them i said oh, okay okay which one do you like oh she says i'm getting this one or i got that one and i said and you've never clicked on affiliate links she said no i haven't that's an amazon link i said exactly it's an affiliate link going to amazon the lucy's list is making five percent of whatever you bought. She said, no way. So most likely almost all blogs use affiliate links nowadays. It's just the way to make better money. And you can be an affiliate for Amazon, Walmart, and eBay, and Target, all sorts of companies. So affiliate marketing is a great place. And then the pro tips I'm gonna give you. So you got two ways to monetize. So to get the most money out of your website business, I really highly recommend doing product reviews. Okay, the more products you feature in your blog or in your website, the better, okay? I'm not sponsored by keto. I love these shakes. I'm on the keto diet. I just lost 15 pounds actually, but I'm not sponsored by them. But if I was a YouTuber and if I was going for brand sponsorship deals, I would hang out with this 
all the time. I'd place products around my set or whatever you want to call it all the time. And with reviews, review products regularly. You make a lot more money. Brands will reach out to you even to pay you upfront money to review their products. Companies will send you free products and offer you affiliate or referral deals to review their product. You can get all sorts of opportunities, but the more you make your website centered around products and selling products, the more products you're gonna sell, okay? That might sound crazy, that might sound stupid, you know, or simple, but it's true. I hear this so much. I hear life coach or marketing gurus talk about, do what you love, do what you love and you'll make a lot of money, right? And if I did what I loved, I'd be naked right now sitting in my jacuzzi, <laughs> you know? Probably, you know, smoking something and then I'll play some video games later and make love to my wife, okay? But it's not, none of that's gonna make me any money, okay? So the point is, doing what you love doesn't necessarily make you money. Selling products does. And if I can get an amen in the comments, type in amen below if you know what I'm talking about. You know, I still believe it's do what you love that still makes money. I think the phrasing has to be off on that. But if you just completely do what you love, I mean, I'd be sitting in bed, you know, like hanging out. So keep that in mind. You want to sell products, you want to start a business, talk about products, okay? And reviewing products is one of the best surefire ways to make money with a website business, full stop. Next pro tip is YouTube, okay? So we talked about how you need to have all three multimedia types in your actual website. Text, images, video. Now preferably, the video would be your own YouTube videos. For every post, for every product you review, for every thing you comment on, for every article you write, for every opinion piece you write, for every whatever you're doing, have an accompanying video on YouTube. It makes your blog blog rank better, your YouTube channel can rank for whatever you're talking about, and third off, you make money from YouTube. So it's a third source of income, okay? Now, YouTube doesn't make people a lot of money right now, okay? For instance, I'm a YouTuber, or you know, I do YouTube a lot. I get about a million views a month. I make about $20,000 a month from YouTube. For me, that's not a lot because my main business makes me about $500,000 a month. So really, in the scheme of things, in the scheme of how much knowledge and time I put into this, I get very little return. Now, it may sound like a lot to you, but in comparison to what I do, it's not a lot. But it has monstrous potential. Monstrous, huge potential. So YouTube may not be a monster income source right now, but starting a YouTube channel and growing on YouTube is a huge, huge thing you can do right now, today, that'll help pay off years in the future. Because YouTube is growing. The future is moving towards video. The third pro tip I'd give you is offer extreme value. Now, Jeff Bezos has gotten rich because he has an extreme customer focus. In his company, the first principle of everything is customer obsession. Uh, be obsessed with the customer. Give them what they want. And what they've done is what they realized very early on is customers want lower prices and customers want faster shipping. They just said, okay, this is what we found out from lots of customers. This is what they want. At first, they thought it was variety. Then they thought it was selection. But really, it was about low price prices and fashion. That's what customers want. And he delivered it to them. He has gone to extreme lengths. I don't know if you've watched the documentary, the PBS documentary on Amazon. It's amazing. Check it out. It's absolutely amazing. Highly suggest you watch the Amazon PBS documentary. But what that documentary goes over is he goes to extreme lengths to get lower prices. He created his own factories. He roboticized his factories. Factory workers in Amazon don't walk through aisles. They actually have robots bring him things in boxes. So they'll say, take a teddy bear from this tray and put it in this box. Take a toothbrush from this, put it in this. He's just completely reinvented American industry to give people lower prices. That is an extreme customer obsession. He's not just negotiating hard with businesses. He is reinventing the warehouse. He is reinventing supply chains to figure out how to give lower prices. And they're developing insane technology. They created their own Uber called Amazon Flex, which is actually something you can work for as a driver to deliver packages faster. They're creating delivery drones to give people packages same day. The reason Main Street America is failing is because you have store owners who are resting on their laurels who sit there and they're not obsessed with the customer. They're sitting there hoping people walk in because they put their shop 
on the main street. They're hoping that they just can sit in the main store, they can get a good spot in the town, and they'll get customers. Jeff Bezos is extremely customer obsessed. And just like Jeff Bezos, you can win too. If you create a website and you are dedicated to offering an extreme amount of value, let's say you're gonna teach people how to beginners rock climbing, how to start rock climbing, right? Don't just rehash the same information everybody else gives. Give tutorials, give an equipment list, give a cheapo equipment list and give a all-in equipment list. Show diagrams of like what the different things are called. Show terminology. If this sounds like a really long, you know, content piece on your website, it probably is. It's probably 2,000 words, okay? That's what a good piece of content is. 2,000 words, 1,500 to 2,000 words. So give extreme value, give diagrams, make images, shoot videos go above and beyond if you go above and beyond with whatever content you're creating you can actually do it for a living okay offer value to people Google's algorithm picks it up YouTube's algorithm picks it up and last but not least is get rid of the work that you don't like now I know I just spoke about do what you love I don't believe in that I believe if you do just what you love you know obviously I'd be sitting down replaying Baldur's Gate 2 but at the same token don't do what you hate Okay, maybe that maybe that's my new phrase. Don't do what you hate. Now, if you hate doing image editing, if you hate shooting videos, if you hate trying to design your website, if you hate actually going into your blog and just posting things, you can outsource almost everything you want. If you even hate writing the articles, maybe just like kind of like concepting them out and whatever, you can outsource almost anything you want on a site called fiverr.com. I'm gonna write it down here. Fiverr with two R's, dot com. And I also put a link down below. It activates an instant discount on Fiverr. So there's a link in the description if you just wanna to go to Fiverr and you get a discount. But Fiverr is a great site to outsource work for $5, $5. There's people all over the world that are willing to go into your site and post content for you, to do images, to write content for you, to shoot videos, whatever you need, they're willing to do it. So go out there and create your website, create your website-based business. I just showed you how to get three sources of income. You can have Google Place ads on your site, you can have affiliate links within your content, and you can have a YouTube video like this embedded in your website, in your post, and you can be making money three different ways. And if you could become obsessed with offering extreme value to people, if you become obsessed with going above and beyond and creating a better informational experience for folks, you'll end up winning. So I hope you took something away from this. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoy learning about marketing, if marketing excites you, if making money online excites you, then make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, select all notifications. I do questions and answers sometimes, but they're impromptu, so you need to hit all notifications. And make sure you comment down below. Let me know what type of website business you're starting. Is it going to be talking about makeup? Is it going to be a blog? Is it going to be a news site, an opinion site? Let me know what type of website you're starting. And if you're going to get started today, type in, I'm going to get started. Okay, type in, I'm going to get started down in the comments. And don't forget, if you want to sign up with my top recommended web host, which gives you a free website and $3 a month hosting, the link is down below. It's one of my top three hosting companies. And also, if you need to outsource work, check out Fiverr. Looking forward to seeing you in future videos. Make sure to check out some of my other methods of setting up a website and getting traffic to your site and talk to you soon.